Gary Carvalho, Professor of Molecular Ecology, uh, working in the Molecular Ecology and Fisheries Genetics Laboratory of the School of Biological Sciences at Bangor University. The problem with commercial fisheries is that they selectively remove larger individuals from the population. There are two consequences of this. It means, of course, that the, the size of the catch is reducing, which of course has economic consequences. There are mainly small fish rather than larger ones. And secondly, it also means that the prospects for recovery are reduced by the fact that smaller individuals will produce fewer young. So we used an experimental system using guppies where we selectively removed across three generations uh, the upper size range of individual males and also the lower size range. In other words, we removed the, the larger and the smaller individuals over several generations. And two key things we looked at, one was the changes in growth rate and body size and the second thing was that each generation we took DNA samples to ask the question, were, could we detect genetic changes in association with these reductions or changes in body size as a result of harvesting? And the work was conducted in Bangor University by a, one of our PhD students funded by the university, Sarinda Van Wyck. So the main significance of our findings was that in association with larger and smaller fish, being produced by the selective re removal of individuals was that we found genetically based shifts in their body size and in fact some of the genes that changed in terms of their frequencies were associated with body size giving us a direct indication that fishing actually drives genetically based divergence in body size. So the way around trying to ameliorate this, these effects, because of course many of these effects have already taken place in our fisheries, is that the most important thing that could be done is to protect a certain proportion of our um, populations, our stocks that are fished, from harvesting altogether for a period of time to allow larger individuals, uh, that the few individuals that may remain, to reproduce and therefore to begin to produce offspring that genetically uh, will also be larger and therefore to to rebalance the size structure of the population.